Coulter's song came from a funeral that uh, we went to when uh, the boys were small. Coulter was probably three or four and Quattro was about ten. It was an aunt of Quattro's that had passed away and so we went to the church and Coulter and I sat at the very back and let Quattro sit at the front with the family because Coulter was a very questioning child. He still is. But when he was little he asked lots of questions and as soon as he settled down in the bench at the back of the church and faced forward he popped right back up on the bench. What's in the box? Aunt Bernice's body's in the box. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to have a church service and we're going to thank God for her life and thank God for um, taking us home after our death and we're going to take it out to the cemetery and we're going to bury it. And he said, Aw, Mom, tell him we'll take care of it. We can't leave her out there. And I paused just a second because I wanted to answer him correctly because I knew that he would understand. He, he always has had a very heightened sense about things having to do with, with the Lord. And I took a breath and I said, well, it's okay if we leave her out there. And his eyes just lit up and he said, she's not in there. And I said, no, she's not in there. And he touched his heart and he said, her life, it is with God. It is in heaven. And I said, yes, it is. Then he looked around at the church and he could see everyone was sad. And he said, do they know that? Do they know he came and got her? And I said, yes, they do. And so I carried that in my heart. There's a, there's a part in, in one of the Gospels where it says Mary heaped up the treasures in her heart when um, the, the wise men came and all of those things. And it just the beauty of that child's revelation of, of God. And so I heaped that treasure in my heart. And I realized that it's not a funeral song. Because at first I didn't know how the Lord would have me work with that. Because it wasn't a funeral song. It was absolutely the opposite of a funeral song. It was that journey that we have on this earth. And that sometimes when we are faithful and we allow the Lord to, He can give us a glimpse of heaven. He can give us a glimpse of His place on earth. And Coulter voiced that to me that day when he realized that life didn't end in that box. The journey continued and it was going to get even more exciting because the next part of it was face to face with God. So we've called it Coulter song all this time, but it's about my life. It is in heaven. That life we give to God. And in a journey of surrender, He has all of it. It isn't our life anymore. Our life belongs in heaven because it belongs with Jesus. This part of the journey is on earth, but it continues after. And once we've surrendered our life to Him and He holds it, then we can see that our walk here is a journey to the Maker. Our lives we give is about not taking our focus off of heaven. Our walk on earth is part of our journey, and it's an important part of our journey because we have this wonderful opportunity to bring people to Christ. We have this wonderful opportunity through our lives here to witness to, the, to Jesus Christ, to what He did for us. And so as you're thinking about your life that you give, you give it back to God. And as you're walking on your journey here back to heaven, how can you glorify Him in that journey? How, what, what is that life that you give to Him? What, are you giving Him all of your life? And how is your life showing that you're on a journey back home to heaven? And that as you walk that journey, how will you glorify the Lord?